Hello, friends. Okay, so I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments. So you can find everything that I'm about to use at this website right here, rayahopebeauty.com. So like I said, you can find all the foundation, eyeshadow, everything available right there. So just as a forewarning, if you are catching this on the replay, you can find a lot of what I'm using on sale, which I am all about sales. The more money I save you, the more makeup that you can try. So the best way to get the most makeup on sale is to check out the area called sets and collections like a gold mine for good deals. Um, so the collection that I would recommend would either be the prep to set collection because you can get a ton of what I'm using on major sale. Um, and then you're also gonna wanna check out the kudos. So if you don't know what a kudos is, it's like our monthly deal. Every month it's something different. This month it's super special to me because I got to be the face of it and help design it and launch it and all of that. So this month you get your choice of eyeshadow palette. You get to pick any color you want any four colors that you wish. So you get this, and then you also get your choices between the Epic mascaras, whether you want the regular Epic or the 4D, your choice. So definitely don't miss out on that. I mean, you can buy as many kudos as you want. So it's the perfect time to either snag a gift for someone if you're shopping for somebody for Christmas or birthday present. These, are make, these make amazing stocking stuffers. Um, it's like really endless on the possibilities. So if you need any help picking out colors for anyone you're shopping for, just let me know what eye color they have and I can give you a really great recommendation on a palette. Um, but hello, welcome guys. If you haven't yet, click that button in your bottom left hand corner, please, please, please do so. If you find my tutorials useful or enjoyable, which I hope you do if you're here, um, that you click that button or you invite your friends to watch, tag them in the comments, share this video onto their wall, share it on your wall so you can watch it on the replay later. Either way, go ahead and make sure that we tell our friends. Uh, that's always so helpful to me. Being a small business owner is word of mouth. So I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, one other thing I'm going to tell you guys to make sure that you join my beauty group, which is called Beauty by Rhea Hope here on Facebook. Um, I do fun things in my group, my VIP group, so make sure you request to join that. But we'll go ahead and get started. Hello, you are not late. You are right on time. Okay, so I really want to get to this found, or the eyeshadow palette because I don't think I've ever gotten more DMs and text messages about going live to do a tutorial that I've said I'm going to do. So I'm so excited to give you guys what you want. So blue eyed ladies represent where you at. I know, I feel like there's a lot of blue eyed girls out there, way more than I was anticipating. Um, so yeah, I have blue eyes, so this is my favorite tutorial, but we've saved it for last. I've done green eyes, hazel eyes, and brown eyes already. Hazel eyes get to really utilize anything that green eyes and brown eyes wear, so you can use anything that you saw in those tutorials. Everything of which is saved on my page, Raya Hope. So make sure that you check that out. All right, so now we're gonna use our spray foundation in the shade Lace. Like I said, I'm really anxious to get on to my eyes, so we're gonna not speed through our foundation, but I am gonna do it quickly. I'm really, whenever I plan on doing my foundation kind of fast, I always reach for my spray foundation. I absolutely love this coverage. I love how lightweight it is. I love how easy it is. It's not messy, you're not blending, you're seriously just popping it on. I'm using the Unique Kabuki brush to put it on, and as you saw, I shook it up really well. And then you're just going to spray it directly onto your brush. And then you just pop it on your face. That's how easy and simple is that? No skill involved. And I also have on my skin the Glorious Face Primer and the Touch... I'm um, sorry. Yes, Glorious Face Primer and the Touch Pulled Translucent... I cannot speak. I'm wearing this right here. The Touch Pulled Setting Spray and the Glorious Face Primer. That is my pre-makeup routine. I always make sure that I have that on before I put on foundation and always, always, always blend it down the neck. Yay, I know, isn't the spray foundation incredible? So obviously I've only done one side of my face. Look at that coverage. Can you believe how it totally takes away all redness, completely evens out my skin tone? Goodbye blemishes, goodbye redness, goodbye uneven skin tone. So if you struggle with any of those things, if you don't have the spray foundation yet in your possession, why? Why have you not grabbed this yet? It is so, so good. It's also pretty dang smudge proof. It goes on obviously as a spray and then it dries into a powdery finish. It's perfect for dry skin. It's amazing for oily skin, for mature skin, you name it. It's seriously the business. It's so good. And it's so incredible, especially if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles because there's nothing for it to settle. It doesn't settle. 
it's a spray. It's an aerosol spray, so it's not gonna settle into your fine lines and creases. So this is amazing if you have dry skin or mature skin. It's completely buildable, so you can even go bolder in coverage or you can even go lighter in coverage. You don't have to put on as much as I am. I love full coverage, though, if you're new around here. I love looking and feeling like a porcelain doll. So we are gonna pop that all on. It's a little light for me right now just because I've been outside a little more than usual, but it's all good. I'm gonna show you how to kind of even out that skin tone. If you do find that your foundation is looking a little light, out of the blue or a little dark, you can kind of play around with that using your pressed powder. So I'm gonna show you a little trickery with that. All right, so another thing that I really swear by with using any foundation is, I was gonna say with the spray foundation, but really this goes for all foundations, blending buds. These blending buds, I'm gonna squirt a little bit of my spray on there. And now I'm just gonna go over everywhere with this. And like I was saying, this, this, this step is so crucial. It really compacts the makeup down into place, helps to minimize the appearance of pores, helps to ensure that it's not going to crease, show any of those fine lines. So if you're not going over it with your blending bud, you are missing out because it really takes it up a notch makes it a little bit fuller coverage. And like I said, if you have large pores or a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, it's gonna help your makeup look so incredibly smooth. All right, so now that we've done that, now we're gonna go in with our concealer. I'm gonna use the shade Velour just cause that's what I grabbed out of my case. And I'm gonna take my Skin Perfecting Concealer and then I always, always, always warm it up in between my fingers like this. And the reason that you do that is cause you wanna warm up that consistency so it's easier to go on. Also helps to kind of thin it out as well. Um, so it's all personal preference, Kayla. So if you don't like full coverage foundation, you don't have to do full coverage foundation. It's all personal preference. So if you're wanting something more light and more natural, you could go for the BB Flawless, which is amazing, or you could apply less of your spray foundation. It's all personal preference. Um, did I do a shade lighter in the spray? So if you are going to get your true shade, that's fine, or I'd recommend going up in a shade. But if you're not sure what color foundation or what color concealer to use, just shoot me a message. All I need is a selfie facing window. It's like five o'clock here and the sun's slowly starting to set. So hence why I'm trying to speed through this as well because I don't have any kind of ring light or anything. Um, but um, I don't even need like amazing lighting outside. I know it's kind of gloomy around parts of the US and around the world. So if you don't even have the best weather outside, it's totally fine. All you need to be doing is facing a window. Did you spray it with water. So yes, the blending buds, I did ring underneath the water and then we wing them out, <laughs> ring them out to no water falls from them. That's when they're ready to use. Um, but I used the Kabuki brush with the spray foundation, went over it with the blending bud and then just used my skin perfecting concealer with the smaller blending bud to put on that and see how it just totally bumps up the coverage, gives us really good coverage underneath our eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender this one is from Walmart, and I'm gonna spray it with my setting spray to really get it to cling on to my translucent setting powder. So this translucent setting powder is amazing if you have oily skin. What it does is it's gonna draw out the natural oils of your skin and basically trap them. So they're not pushing against your foundation, making it come off or look super shiny or really oily um, or just all around come off. If you also have large pores and oily skin, you are going to be obsessed with this because it's also going to help to minimize the appearance of pores, bump up the coverage, and soak up any of those natural oils. If you work around food or grease or outside, this is also going to really help you because it kind of creates that barrier between that and your makeup and also is going to help to absorb any of that. Thank you. So I always take my cap off my setting powder. Um, that's way so I can bake. I just used a butter knife. Otherwise, it comes with a little mesh plating, which is really helpful if you don't have oily skin. It helps you not to use too much. So if you're worried, oh my gosh, I don't want to look like I'm dried out from the setting powder, it's kind of rest assured that you have that mesh plating there. Yes, full coverage. I love full coverage, but like I said, not everyone's preference is full coverage, and that's totally fine. You can always message me a selfie and I can give you a recommendation for you, what your skin type is, what your preference is. If you don't like full coverage, I'm not gonna give you a full coverage recommendation. I'm gonna tell you these products will give you what you want. So message me if you haven't done so yet. All right, so, and if I missed anyone's comment, just comment it again. So that way I don't waste anyone's time by scrolling all the way up. 
Hi, Summer. I'm great. How are you? Yes, Kelly. So the routine that I do is foundation, then concealer, then set. So you want to think of it like you're painting a wall. You prep and prime the wall right first so your paint doesn't seep into all the cracks, just like your face. You want to prime. Then you want to do foundation. So the foundation's like the paint. And then you are going to wait for that to settle. And then you're going to see where it needs more coverage. So that would be your concealer. Then if your wall was oily, you would set it. <laughs> um, the spray foundation has been set to last around five months. All right. So hi, Jane. Welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, so now for your under eyes. So say you're not oily, but you still wanna set your concealer and you still wanna make sure that your under eyes don't crease. This step right here, I am like obsessed with, I'm in love with it, I'm so glad I gave it a chance. I wasn't scared to use too much powder. So this is the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder. So it's a pressed powder foundation, but we're gonna use it to set our under eye. So we're gonna take that on the blending bud, or sorry, the Beauty Blender, this is that one from Walmart, and we're gonna push this underneath our eye. So this is the shade Scarlet, which is the lightest shade. This is going to not only set our under eye and prevent any under eye creasing, but it's also going to help to brighten up our under eye, which helps it look tighter, brighter, more youthful. So if you experience puffy under eyes, this is also gonna be another step that you're gonna love. All right, so we're gonna sweep away that because we don't want like a ton of powder. We just want it to very softly sit. Hello from Portugal foundation wear all day yes it is all day wear foundation so that concealer was first yes yeah, switch it around and you'll be so shocked at how incredible it looks all right so now as you see my skin does look a little uneven you can see some light spots some dark spots um it just doesn't look even so also it looks a little light right from my chest my chest is a little bit darker than my face obviously we don't want that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my pressed powder again same exact product but this is going to be in my true shade this is the shade satin so that's actually kind of one shade darker than my complexion but because we used a shade lighter in our liquid we're kind of offsetting it or our spray rather so always blend down the neck and then now look oh, it matches isn't that a miracle a miracle <laughs> an american miracle um, I need to do tutorials. Where do I message you? I'm 16. I would love a recommendation. I would love to give you one, Michelle. So super duper easy. You can tap on my face. A little window should pop down and you should be able, excuse me, choke on my own spit. You should be able to tap on my name, Rhea Coleman, Rhea Hope, wherever you're watching from. And once it takes you to my page, you should see an area that says message. So you can message me that way, or you can just go straight to my website, rayahopebeauty.com and scroll to the very bottom. And you can see an area that you can send me a message there as well. So wherever that you'd like, or you can message me on Instagram if you don't follow me on there, definitely make sure you do so. I do hair tutorials, makeup. I do a lot of fashion stuff. It's really fun. We're also remodeling our new house. So if you love home remodels, you're gonna wanna check that out. So my name on Instagram is rayahope. R-A-Y-A-H-O-P-E, same with Pinterest, YouTube, wherever you can find me. All right, so I've only done one side of my face because I really wanna show you the power of pressed powder over your foundation. Look at how airbrushed this side of my face looks versus this side. And look at how it totally matches, looks natural, than this side. Isn't that incredible? I know most people are like, that's crazy. You wear a spray foundation and then you set it with pressed powder. You recommended me two powder two foundations the liquid and the pressed powder this is why it completely makes your makeup look so airbrushed this foundation this pressed powder is actually made for mature skin made for fine lines and wrinkles it is so lightweight so silky soft it's seriously amazing 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 so if you have yet to try it and you say oh i can't wear pressed powders my skin is dry i have mature skin i can't wear pressed powders that typically might be true, but not for this. This pressed powder is amazing. All right, so that was the shade Satin in the Touch Mineral Pressed Powder. Aw, thank you, Irma. Thank you. I know it's coming along so fast. My haircut is called a pixie. I need that, I'm 68. So yes, Irma, all of what I've used so far is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. So be sure to check it out there. All right, so now let's do a quick contour highlight to get on to this eye look. So I'm gonna start with the Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa and I'm taking on my tapered blusher brush. 
Start at the top of the ear, work to the corner of the mouth, taking it horizontally. And you're gonna really kind of carve out that hole of the cheek. Spin, and then you're just gonna swirl it over that area, just like that. Now I always take it around the jawline to really kind of accentuate your jaw structure. And then if you are a little bit older and you are experiencing some droopage around your jawline, this will really help give the appearance that it's not there and that it's a little bit higher up. So it really kind of accentuates that. And if you have a more round face, this is also gonna pull in the bone structure and really help. Yes, the pressed powder will work if you have dry skin and so will the spray foundation. So every skin type can actually utilize this makeup tutorial because it is amazing. And then around the forehead, I just kind of do swirls and then bring it down. I don't like to go beneath my eyebrows, but it's all personal preference. I like to really keep that contour and that center of my face really pulled forward. Would I go darker shade in the pressed powder? I would, Darlene, if your spray or liquid is looking a little bit light. Um, I like my foundation to look a little bit darker though. That's just my personal preference. So I would recommend to go up in a shade in your spray foundation, up in a shade in your pressed powder naturally, just because both of them run a tad bit light. <coughs> Excuse me. But you can always message me if you're not sure what color to grab. All right, so contour versus no contour. You guys see how amazing that difference is? See how this side of my face looks much thinner. My cheek looks much more plump. My under eye looks brighter, tighter. Teeny tiny bit of contouring, you guys. Click a little hard if you see a big difference. See this side versus this side. Oh, so amazing. Once you contour, you're gonna be like, how did I not do this before? So again, hold the cheek, top of the ear to corner of the mouth and then turn. And then do little swirls to just soften that line up so it doesn't look so harsh. But I love this brush, I swear. This brush is like all who to thank. It does all the work for you. It's a perfect amount of tapered, perfect amount of everything. It's so perfect for your face. All right, so for blush, we're gonna use the pressed blush in the shade Supple with the Blusher Brush by Unique. So all the brushes so far, except for this one, have all been by Unique. So you can find them under tools on my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com. If you want the link to this guy, just message me. Um, Kelly, message me because I have a recommendation for you. Hello from Canada. All right, I know this blush is one of my favorites just because it looks so good for every single day. So again, this is the shade Supple and I always swirl on the cap and then tap off any excess and smile. And then you're gonna pop this on the apple of your cheek, working closer to the bronzer and then work up to the hairline. So this area, so this is going to really complement your contour and just give you some flush of color so you don't look so washed out with the powders and the bronzers and things like that. Perfect, Christine, I will message you as soon as I get off. So if you have yet to message me to be color matched or if you have any questions, make sure that you send me a message and I can answer you when I get off here. I'm also gonna give you guys the full product list in the comments in below right here after I get off. So make sure that you comment something, even if you're a silent watcher, even a, a, just an emoji would be fine. That way Facebook will alert you that I commented the product list. It'll be like, Ray, I commented on her live video. So that way you know that that's the product list. Um, I do not know that. I think the Organza Spray Foundation should be back in stock in end-ish of um, December, but I would go up in a shade to lace. Summer, I would love to color match you. Send me a message. Um, ways, the most effective way to make your makeup non-transferable, both setting powder and setting spray and use every foundation from Unique. When I hug someone, make it on the face and clothes. So I would make sure that you're setting your makeup with the pressed powder. That really, really helps. And then you go hog wild with the setting spray, girl. Get it all up in there. Also, applying your foundations with the blending buds really help as well. All right, so now let's get a pop and highlight. Who loves a good highlight? That's me. I'm gonna use the Touch of Mode Luminizer, and this is from, this is the Cream to Powder. And I have never got so many questions when my photos went live on the Unique website from so many Unique girls asking me what highlight I use. And it's this guy right here mixed with another, which I'm gonna show you. So I'm using my finger because that really heats up the product into your skin. So instead of just looking like you have a straight up line on your face, it makes it look really melted and soft upon your skin. So I'm just taking it, swirling it. Look how gorgeous that color is. It's like this gorgeous gold. And once you put it on, it more looks and appears like a bronze, like a bronzy gold. So we're just gonna kind of push that. See how I'm kind of working it into like an oval shape? Yes, Irma, message me. 
gonna really kind of melt it into your skin and into those pressed powders. See how it really starts to bring forward your bone structure? I know we don't all have like big, tall cheekbones sometimes that overlaps. You can totally overlap it with your blush. I don't want you to be too hard on yourself. You really can't mess this up. It looks stunning either way. So that was the Touch of Limon Luminizer in the shade Pearly, but this is the cream to powder. Now we're gonna go over it with the Touch of Limon Luminizer in the shade Lustrous, which is more of a, a bronzy color, bronzy gold. And we're gonna take just on a fluffy brush. I like to pop this on the tip and bridge of my nose and then right on top of that. And you don't have to be neat and tidy with this. You just pop that on right over it. So it's gonna really cling onto that powder, but look at how it makes it shine. Is that so pretty? So if you love a good dewy finish, but you say you have oily skin like me, I love getting that really gorgeous dewy look, but I can't have dewy foundation or else it would just slide off my face. So this is a really cool way of giving yourself that youthful dewy, just really stunning look, isn't that pretty? And it looks so good in family photos or for holidays. It shines, it looks so incredible. There's no flashback in this makeup either, which means when you take a picture of yourself, your face doesn't turn white. You still get all of this gorgeous color. It's gonna try bronzer, yay, I'm so excited for you. Um, for the lines around your mouth, I would recommend our skincare. It's incredible. I would make sure that you really utilize the Uology toner, which would be, I'm sorry, the refreshing rose water toner and then the Uology serums would be crucial for you. Um, you can always message me and I can give you a recommendation on a skincare line that would really help. But for makeup wise, what would help around those mouth lines are the blending buds and a hydrating um, face primer, unless you have oily skin. Those would all help, but you can message me and I can give you a full recommendation. All right, so now I'm gonna comb through my eyelashes and my brows. This helps that your mascara looks so stunning on instead of like spider leggy or clumpy or anything like that because as you rub your eyes or wash your face, you have a tendency to overlap your eyelashes and you don't even know it. So just like you brush your hair, brush your lashes, help them out. Your mascara isn't designed to brush your lashes. It's designed to put mascara on your eyes. It's not really lines, it's more creasing. So Kelly, message me, I can help you out. I can't see them getting the perfect finish when I get matched. They always go too orange or too light. Rosie, message me a selfie facing a window during the daytime, if it's already nighttime where you're at, and tell me that, remind me that, and I will take that into consideration when I give you a recommendation. Awesome, hi Allie, welcome. All right, so now for brows, I am gonna quickly throw these on. This is my favorite product for doing my eyebrows. This is the brow pencil and I'm using it in the shade medium. Is there a hair over there? It is so amazing at giving you fast, easy, gorgeous, stunning eyebrows. If you're new at doing your brows, this is also a really good tool for you to begin with because it's just so user friendly. See how fast and easy that is? Ta-da! I basically just follow the natural shape and direction of my brows. So if the hair is going back, I'll go back. And once I get to the arch, I kind of take it down throughout the tail, just like that. And then you can always use this spoolie in to kind of comb through your lashes as well, or I'm sorry, your brows to really soften it up. Also can lighten it up as well. So if you do do your brows and you're like, ooh, I went too dark, you can always comb through and it'll lighten it up. So this is my rat -a -dye. It's also really, really helpful if you have like hooded eyes or smaller eyes. So by doing your brows, look how much room it gives you on this side versus this side. See how it's just so welcoming, so much cleaner versus this side looks a little bit messy, but look at the room, oh, gives you so much room. So if you have, uh, like I said, hooded eyes or squintier eyes or you wear glasses, that's a really good tip for you. So just like I said, from the tear duct all the way up, that's kind of where you know to like cap off the brow and then take it to the arch, fling it down throughout the tail, and then I just kind of etch this little line down here just to kind of make it all meet back together, and then take it through. Another really helpful tip with doing your brows is pressure. How hard are you pushing your pencil or your brush or whatever you're using onto your skin? If you're pushing super hard, it's gonna look a little bit darker. If you're not pushing that hard, it's gonna look a little lighter. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. All right, blue-eyed ladies, where you at? Say me, give me a hands up because it's time for this eye look. All right, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner. 
which this is the Precision Eyeliner in the shade Perfect, just like our black. I always put this on my water lines. I like to do it before I do my eyeshadow because it helps to smoke it out when we get to that step. But I love these, they're only 15 bucks. Good evening. Yay, thank you so much. Oh yay, I'm so excited for you. Yes, my website is always the same, reahopebeauty.com, so keep that in mind when you're shopping or when you're ready to shop. All right, let me get my brushes out and then we'll get started. All right, so as you guys know, or maybe you don't, this month's kudos, um, you'll see a familiar face on there, is your choice of eyeshadow palette and then your choice of Epic Mascara. So you get to choose between the 4D, the regular Epic, the brown. You can buy multiples. You could use the brown for your eyebrows. You could use the waterproof black over your 4D. You can layer it, which I'm gonna show you guys, but this is the palette that I would choose if you have blue eyes. Here are the colors. Are you ready? Fanatical, nonsensical, witty, and impish. <laughs> I know, can you believe Gingerly is not in that list. It was really hard to choose because that shade looks good on everyone. But I wanna give you guys like the palette that's gonna make your eyes pop right out of your head. <laughs> I'm telling you, in photos especially, your eyes are going to pop. Every time I wear this palette, people are like, oh my gosh, your eyes are so blue. <laughs> All right, Hazel Eye Ladies, I did a tutorial for you, uh, not yesterday, but the day before, and then the day before that as well. So Hazel Eyes can use um, anything brown eye girls can use and also anything green eye girls can use. Those will also make your names pop. Your names pop, your eyes pop. Uh, where did they come up with these names? I don't know. <sighs> okay, I know. I read this meme the other day. It was like if boys named eyeshadow, they were like brown, barf. <laughs> Like, that's so true. All right, so we're gonna start first with this guy right here. This is Impish. This is gonna be kind of like a, I'm terrible at describing colors, BT dubs. So I'll do my best. This is like a burnt orange. All right, so now we're gonna take it on the fluffy crease brush and we're just going to pop this in the crease and the brow bone, just like so. Um, I wouldn't recommend, I don't think it's like a necessity to have to match your eyeshadow with your clothes, but like for me personally, I probably wouldn't wear like pink eyeshadow and wear a green top. So I do a little bit, but not like so drastically, if that helps, <laughs> if that makes sense. Bright green eyes over here. Ooh, that's pretty. I did a green eye tutorial. I think that was the first day. So not yesterday or the day before, but the day before that. But I have all those tutorials saved here on my Facebook. If you search Rhea Hope, all of my tutorials are saved there. So you can just scroll down and you can see them. I also always upload my tutorials to YouTube. So they're also on there for your amusement and enjoyment. Zigzag rainbows, that's right, Lori. I always think zigzag, zigzag, or nope, nope, nope. Rainbow, rainbow, zigzag. And by doing that, it's really gonna help to soften those lines so it doesn't look like you have to blend a ton when you're done. So we are gonna take this, and this, like I said, is gonna be our crease color and also kind of our transition shade. And then once we've done that, we've established that color. Now I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is witty. This is gonna be an orange. <laughs> I am in uh, Southern California, so it's still light here-ish. So now we're gonna go directly over that color with Witty. But with this, we are just going to stick to mostly the crease. So I'm trying not to go too high with this color, but we are gonna start taking that down through the eye. Gray eyes, so gray eyes would go in the same boat as blue eyes pretty much. But if you ever need any inspiration or recommendation on what palette to grab, just message me and I would be so, so thrilled to help you choose. And again, we're using the fluffy crease brush. If you have yet to grab this brush, you're missing out. It does all the work for you. It's a perfect amount of fluffiness. It's a perfect amount of taperedness. It really, really, really fits perfectly in that crease and can be used for all kinds of colors. 
All right, so now that we have Witty on, we're, gonna be, we're beginning to look very orangey. So now we're gonna go in with this color right here, which is nonsensical. We're gonna use this a few places. So with darker colors like this, I always make sure to swirl into the cap really well and to tap off really well. That'll lessen the amount of powder that's on your brush. So you don't go in with like a glob of it. You can kind of slowly work in that color so you can work up that depth rather than going in with a lot of product and you're like, oh no, now I have to blend all of this out. So easier to add. And now we're gonna focus this color mostly on this outside corner. We're gonna kind of take it through underneath, or I'm sorry, on top of the lash line, but mostly on the outside. Just like this. And this is gonna add a lot of depth to the eye. Names of eyeshadow colors are so random. I know they are. I think that when they launch them, those color names like usually go together. But then like, obviously you're not gonna use them in the launch dates. So yeah, they do get a bit random. But if you ever have any question, just message me and I can help. All right, so now that we have nonsensical in the outside corner, we'll just slowly do it on this side. And we're still using the same brush, fluffy crease brush. And we're just gonna slowly build that up. Thank you. Wow, that's cool, Shelly. I want blue eye, I want a green eye. So you could utilize a lot of different colors. All right, so now that we have nonsensical on, make sure I like how dark that is. I'm gonna have to start using you guys as a mirror because I think it's getting too dark here. Okay, nonsensical. So now we're gonna go with this color right here. This is called the Deluxe Brush. This brush is amazing for doing your lid color without fallout. So we're gonna take the Deluxe Brush and we're gonna take this brush right here, which is called Fanatical. Fanatical, which is this gorgeous like metallic gold. And I like to also crush that rumor that if you are a certain age, you can't wear metallic colors and that is false. You can and you should because they look stunning and they really draw the attention to the eyes. They make your eyes pop. They brighten them up, they bring them forward, and it's really flattering. So whoever told you that is a liar <laughs> because they really bring that attention in. So again, that is the shade Fanatical. And with this step, we're kind of pushing on rather than swiping. And that's going to help. We'll limit the fallout, which means that just the eyeshadow doesn't happen like down and around your eye. So we're going to take this and we're just pushing this on inner corner and then focus it on the lid and see how I'm not kind of going over too far to the left or too far to the outer corner. We're sticking mostly inner, upper, and in the center. Just like that. Okay, so now that we have that, I'll kind of go around and play with the different colors just to deepen it up a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna actually take this brush, which is not by Unique, this is by Morphe. It's a 432 brush. And I'm gonna grab this color again, which is nonsensical. And I'm gonna drag this underneath the lower lash line. Just trying to see, do I wanna use you guys or this mirror? But this is gonna really smoke out the look and just give it a more cohesive finished eye look, feel to it. And it's also going to help me be able to avoid having to put mascara on the bottom lash line, which I hate doing because I use our Esteem Lash Serum, which helps my lashes grow, but I've been using it for two and a half years. So my lashes have gotten so dang long that they literally touch my under eye, which first world problems, right? So if you've been looking for a good lash serum, you should grab ours. It's only 24 bucks too. Put it on every single night before bed. You could use it in combination with other lash serums. If you already have one you like, I would highly recommend to grab ours and use it with it but it seriously makes your lashes grow like weeds. You can use it also on your brows. So if you have thinner to no eyebrows, you can also use it on your brow area to help your brows grow thicker and bolder as well. All right. So 
So I'm gonna kind of section that off. I'm gonna grab a little more of nonsensical and kind of darken this outer corner up a little bit. Alrighty, and now I am gonna use another color. So Unique not only has these palettes, which are on sale in the Kudos, but you can actually buy them in a palette of eight. You can buy them in a single palette or you can buy it by itself as well. I would highly recommend grabbing this one at least. So I love these little single serving eyeshadow ones. So this is the color um, Optimistic. I really, really love this color for going around the outside and the inner corner. So I'm actually gonna take this one as well. And we're gonna use this just to soften the outside and also to highlight that brow bone. And we're gonna pop this on the inner corner as well. But it just brings like a little extra, extra shine. Just like so. Around that brow bone. All right. Now we're gonna set our makeup, do our mascara. And I'm gonna show you what lip look I would actually pair with an eye look like this. So, almost done. I always like to use my, where's my fan? thing and I have no idea where my fan went but I was gonna say I always like to use my setting powder my setting spray before I'm actually finished with my makeup because that helps to reduce the transferring of your mascara if that yes that was a setting spray so I'll use a setting spray before I'm actually done it helps to prep and prime your lips for um lipstick but it also helps that your mascara doesn't transfer because when you're done doing your mascara and you go to set your makeup you're just making it more wet so thinking smart and not how to wait yeah whatever you get what i'm saying all right so now for mascara i'm gonna do the lash primer first ever since we came out with this i've noticed that my lashes have grown even longer and stronger it helps to hydrate your lashes while you're wearing your mascara also helps with crazy length and volume and helps to curl your lashes. So win, 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 win. So I do one coat of this on the base and then I go in with my Epic Mascara first. So this is regular Epic. Oh, thank you. Can you use Optimus as a highlight? Yes, you can. All right, so we're gonna start with Epic Mascara in Black first, and I've been loving layering my mascaras lately. I feel like it just makes my lashes even more dramatic than it, they usually are. So Epic Mascara. And then we're gonna layer it and do our lips. And I go from the base of the lash all the way up, so I kinda like blink onto the wand. And use Optimistic as a highlight, a two for one. Yes, you can, absolutely. Girl, you got, oh, thank you. What brush did you use for eyeliner? That was a Morphe 432 brush, I believe. Yeah, 432. I know the lash primer really makes a huge difference with how long and just bold your lashes look. If you're not using the lash primer, you definitely need to grab it. It makes the biggest difference, especially curling your lashes. If you struggle with your lashes becoming like too straight, I highly recommend to grab it. Makes a really big difference. All right, so now we're using the 4D mascara right on top and this really helps to bump up the volume and the length. And like I said, I've just been loving layering the two. I love all the drama. Give me all the drama in my lashes. Oh, so good. Ta da! So now, what I like to do, I like to take like an empty brush. This one's by e.l.f. Just sweep away anything that fell. And then I like to take my blending bun and I like to very firmly and quickly bounce this off. And that really helps to kind of clean that edge up a little bit. So if you do get a little wild, it's all good. Okay. Look at that. 
I love these colors. All right, so now for lips, we're gonna use the lip liner in the shade Plush. And again, where's my sharpener? The lip liners are sharpened, which this is like $7.50 on our website. It's the best sharpener ever. It doesn't like jack up your pencils. All right, so let me put that hair down. So plush lip liner going on first. And this is one of my favorite lip liners. I love it because it's really matte. It glides on and it's smudge proof. And my blending buds are damp. All right, so we're gonna line our lips. And this is what I like to do whenever I'm wearing lipstick. I like to kind of graze my lips with the lip liner, just so slightly. Cause like I said, it's smudge proof. So it actually helps to hold onto your lipstick longer. So it prolongs the wear of it throughout the day. All right, so lip liner on. And now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick in the shade Fortunate. It's this really pretty kind of darker red. We're gonna start here and blend that in. And then I'm gonna take my finger. I really buff it into place. a really good lip look for fall and if you were if you like wearing darker colors but not something that's too heavy or too dark it looks really pretty on and I'm kind of using my finger to thin out the consistency of it and to make it a little lighter too all right now that we've done that now I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit with the lip gloss in the shade Luxe. And that lightens it up just ever so slightly. And that's the lip look. So this is something so pretty that would look for Thanksgiving. Um, if you're needing kind of an inspiration for that, just cause this eye look and lip look really go good with like green or maroon, black, obviously all of the colors that you would usually wear around Thanksgiving brown, all of those looks really, really good together. So a little recap. So on our eyes, we did the kudos quad. So again, you get this on sale and you get to pick the colors we did impish witty, nonsensical, and fanatical. And then we popped a little bit of optimistic on the inner corner and then the brow bone. And then for our lips, we did the lip liner in plush, the lipstick in fortunate, and the lip gloss in the shade Lux on top. So plush, Lux, and fortunate are on our lips. Thank you so much. Yes, I am ready for the close up. Now I need to go out to dinner. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you catch all the other um, eye looks on the replay. If you guys haven't checked those out yet, make sure you do. They're on um, my page, Raya Hope. If you need to be color matched for the foundation or any products, just message me and I would love to help you. And make sure that you grab the kudos um, while it's on sales. Perfect Christmas gift, perfect stocking stuffer. If you need any help picking out colors for you or anyone you're shopping for, don't hesitate to message me. And if you need this lipstick combo, again, I'm gonna do the full product list here in the comments after I get off. I will also upload this to my looks tab, which if you're not familiar with that, it's on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. Click shop now and click on the looks tab. And then you'll search Raya Hope, all one word, and all of my makeup looks I've ever done are gonna be saved on there. So I hope you guys all have a beautiful rest of your evening and I will see you guys next time. Maybe to do like a purple eye look, how about that? be fun. All right. I will see you guys soon. Have a good night. Make sure you message me.